This video shows tips and tricks for dealing with issues you may encounter while loading paper with the XP630. These solutions also apply to the XP620 and XP610. You will see a message on the printer's LCD screen if one of the paper trays is not positioned correctly. Moving the trays to the proper position will clear the message. If you push cassette 1 too far into the printer, turn the printer off, then on again. The printer will reposition the tray correctly. When loading paper into either paper tray, make sure you load the paper with the coated or whiter side face down. Always remember to load envelopes face down with the flap facing up and to the left. Also, make sure the flap is closed or the glue may stick to the printer rollers. If you are having trouble extending cassette 2 to handle legal paper, Make sure you have removed the CD-DVD tray from under cassette 2. When using the CD-DVD tray, the output tray must be closed. Close the output tray completely when you want to print on a disc. In addition, make sure you press the disc securely on the center spindle when placing it on the tray. The paper setup screen lets you set the paper type and size to match the paper you just inserted. If this screen does not appear when you insert a paper cassette, the screen may be disabled. To turn it on again, press Home. Select Setup. Then select Printer Setup. Select Paper Source Setting. Then Paper Configuration. And select On. Now, whenever you insert a paper cassette, the LCD screen will prompt you to change the paper settings for the new paper. You can see other product videos for your XP630 on epson.com support or on YouTube.